Hey guys, welcome back. John here again with Zayon TV, and today I'm here to unveil to you the thing that I said I was going to have finished by this episode in Thursday's episode, and that is my um, automated gathering thing working system here thing thing I think uh oh we got some eggs on tap uh can I make this jump well not like that um so I got this thing all worked out there we go and come here eggs so it's not perfect um as you can see if I, I think if I cover this in um glass it might be fine but we have problems with it uh, it's not 100% automated stuff like that so for one there's eggs pumpkins sugarcane and last one is cacti now we lost some stuff in transport um, meaning that somewhere along the line this full chest of cacti uh oh, there's just cacti sitting here. Um, somewhere along the line, wow, there were 36, 35 cacti sitting there. Somewhere along the along the way, we lost some. No idea where. Uh, you'll see this actually work right here. Uh, it just falls down. Yeah, somewhere we lost some. So I think plugging that should fix part of the issue. Let's see. Yeah, that should be fine. So, only two out of these four are fully automated. So, this is one of them, the cactus. Um, it's 100% automated. And the other one that the sorting system is 100% automated on is this, um, currently. Sort of. I mean sort of, because I still have to come over here and push the button to break all the reeds. But once they're broken, they automatically fall down here into this hole, and they get sent to the sorting system. Now, that being said, the two that are not completely are this one and the egg farm. Now that's going to change. This one's still going to be somewhat not auto, because it's kind of difficult to make an automatic pumpkin farm, due to the fact that if you destroy these, the pumpkins stop growing. Um... But what I'm going to do is just have a chest sitting here, and whenever you put items in the chest, they just go into a dropper, and the dropper shoots them straight down. I may do the same with this and the cactus farm as well, because then that way I know that at all times the items are going straight down the hole. They're not going to like get stuck down here or something like that. Like If I jump down here, you'll notice um, there's, an, there's a chance that the items could hit on one of these ledges. And then it wouldn't it wouldn't float down into the system down here and get sent to the sorting system, which is all the way down over there, um, all the way down over there, which where it goes up and all that. Also, I haven't really finished down here. I'm not too worried about it. It looks cool, uh, but this really doesn't have a use right yet. So I, what I want to do is kind of make it look mossy and overgrown and moist and stuff like that. But I haven't gotten around to doing that yet, which is fine because I like having a couple projects going so I always have something to do for a video. Now, again, that being said, uh, what I want to do today is fully automate all four of these things as much as I can. So I believe with this one I'm going to put it on a timer so that it just fires the pistons like every five minutes. Maybe, I'm not sure because I feel like that could also cause lag with the whole issue of like uh, redstone constantly going so I may not do that I may just have that I just need to go over and push the button whenever I get on because I mean they only grow when I'm online so same thing with the pumpkin farm this is pretty much as automated as it's going to be the egg farm I still have to automate and this I, I want to add the whole dropper hopper dropper system uh, just implement that to make this a lot easier um, so I'm going to go ahead and get all this, uh, all the droppers and all that together, and I will be back with you guys in a little bit. Welcome back, everyone! It's a new day. A new, new day. The sun is rising. 
It's about mid-morning. We're not noon yet, maybe like 9, 30, 10 o'clock, you know. Feeling good. So, we're gonna get working. Yeah. Alright, so this is how we're gonna do it. Uh, it's gonna be a little tricky, uh, but it should be fun. So, first things first is we need to put down a hoppy hoppy to hop 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 hopper. And we do that by doing one of these jobs, placing that, and then kablammo, hoppity hop 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 hopper is placed. Now, here's where it's going to get a little tricky. I think if I do this, and then I get me the dropper, kablammo, perfect. Okay, so items are now filing into the hoppity hop 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 hopper and what I need to do now is grab some of this dirty dirt um, and actually was I that low? Yeah, it was. Alright so actually what I want to do is put these back and break this and I think I want to move this Red row. Let's do this. And then break this. Okay. Perfect. Okay, let's put that there for a real quick second. And I actually want to put the hopper like that. And my reasoning behind that is because I want this down a little bit farther. So what I'm going to want to do now is put another hopper here. And now our problem is solved, sort of. Um, so I need to place another dropper like that. Uh, so now the eggs are flowing in there. And then I need to get a one of these and one of these. And then we're going to put a comparator down. And so now whenever there's something in there, that will light up. And now we need a redstone repeater. And we're just going to leave it like that. And then I need some redstone. If it would let me click. And then come back. Put softy over here. Like that. And then I think I'm going to need to... Actually, wait a minute. This should work, shouldn't it? No. Okay. So what we're going to need to do is... Good thing I made extra repeaters. Because now we need to come out of here. And do one of these. So now it's just going to keep firing the eggs. And I think... It shouldn't break them. It should just shoot them. Yeah. Let me, uh... Get out of here. Because it's just going to keep shooting them into me. So, put those there. Okay, awesome. So now, whenever eggs come down out of here, they're going to go straight down. They're going to use this as kind of like a little reservoir. And then they're just going to shoot straight out. So now if we go over here, we should, if we wait long enough, be able to see the eggs. There they are. Right there. They come out of the top. There you go. You can see them coming up. There's a cacti. They come straight down and across, and they go right into that hopper and run across and get put into the sorting system. So, awesome. That one's all done. So now let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of these other three, and I will show you guys when it's complete. You guys hear that beautiful, beautiful sound? That beautiful, beautiful noise? That is the noise of success, my friends. That is the noise, the sound of success. And it's about to stop. Oh, beautiful, beautiful sound of success. Oh, there's a bitty bat, 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 bitty bat, bat. Well, hello there, bitty bat. Where'd you go? Hello. I want to kill you. Because your little chirping squeaky squeaks annoy the hell out of me. Except I can't kill you. Okay, whatever. Fine, you get to live. You survive. So that one's now all hooked up. Uh, so is this one over here. Let's go ahead and show that to you guys. 
That squid just died. So you push the butt, 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 butt button, and that volume was very, very loud. And you come over here, and you hear it click. They all fall in. Do the same thing over here. Stand here long enough, you'll hear one fall in. Oh, screw it. And you hear that click. Stand over here long enough, and you'll hear this click as well. Hopefully. Yep, there it goes. Okay, so the items are now all sorted properly. Uh, so if I come back over here, I should probably grab those cobblestones so they don't clog the system. But there's one cactus. See it fall in. And it'll get sorted into the system. They're here. Um, so yeah, we're fully functioning now. Um, fully, sort of, mostly automatic. Where did those go? They should be here at the end. Should have two cobblestone blocks. Hmm. Let's go do an investigation. So, uh, yeah, we're completely automated, except for some of them need button presses, like that one and that one. So, it's pretty much halfway automated. Pumpkins are the least automated. Um, I might look around and see if I can find a good automated pumpkin farm, see if there's one that's completely automated. Because if so, then everything will be 100% automated, which is awesome. Um, we see, I don't want to go down there. Oh, wait a minute. There's stuff sitting here. That's not good. Hmm. No idea. It might, I'm not sure what's causing that. Let's go ahead and uh, block that off for now. I that's not very good. That's kind of worrying me, but uh, we'll worry about that at a later date. I mean, if we only lose that many out of all of this, uh, we still made a good amount. I mean, we're still making a lot. There's a lot of this stuff coming through this system, so. I mean, I'm not too worried about it, but at the same time, I don't want to have an overhead like that. Um, I'd prefer to have 100% with no overhead. But what are you going to do? There's that. Did I pick up the cobblestone? I might have when I was down there. I might have picked it up. I'm not sure. I didn't see it, but that doesn't mean anything. But yeah, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have an, uh, an option or an idea how I could fully automate this pumpkin farm, please feel free to let me know. Uh, that'd be great. Oh, I just heard a click. Uh, but yeah, that'd be great if you guys had an idea of how to automate a pumpkin farm 100% so that it automatically fires and then collects all the uh, pumpkins and all that. I think there's a way to do it. Like I could put hoppers under these, like make these half slabs, put hoppers here, and put hoppers under the soil blocks. Um, but see anything that would land here would be lost so I don't want to have that much of an overhead when I only have 20 possible blocks for pumpkins to grow so I may look around and try to find a fully automated option um, and if I find one I will let you guys know in the next video but yeah guys I want to thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed if you did please give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next video bye bye